Kayla, the mayor's husband, was actually one of seven people arrested in a drug bust. Timothy Granison was not the original target of this wire investigation. DA Sandra Dorley says the mid-level narcotics investigation began seven months ago, and at the time, Timothy Granison wasn't even on the radar. This was originally um, an investigation that was led by the Rochester Police Department in Granite. During the course of that wiretap investigation, the evidence led us to Timothy Granison. At that point, in order to preserve the integrity of the wire, I asked that the New York State Police come in. So far, she says they searched seven homes and made seven arrests, one being Granison. They have secured $60,000 worth of powder and crack cocaine, several guns, and $100,000 in cash. We believe this whole organization was a mid-level drug organization that was infecting the city of Rochester. Dorley says she believes the mayor is still living at 93 Woodman Park with Granison. She wasn't home when the house was raided, but her daughter was. State Police Major Barry Chase says the daughter was safe the whole time. We took her father back to the residence and we let him call her out so we could explain things to her. And then I contacted someone and a family member showed up and uh, removed her from the residence. So. Police say they are trying to interview Warren through her lawyers, and Dorley wouldn't comment on whether the mayor could be implicated in the investigation or whether she was heard on the wiretaps. Live in Rochester, Kayla Green, News 8. Kayla, thank you. Now, Sandra Dorley says one of the seven homes searched yesterday was Granison's brothers and also mentioned there's a relationship between Warren and two of the others charged in this case. Let's ask ourselves why. Many emotions have gone through my head, starting with confusion, anger, betrayal, and hurt. I find the timing of yesterday's events, three weeks before early voting starts, to be highly suspicious. Let's ask ourselves why, at the exact time that the police were knocking at my door, the New York Times all the way from Manhattan was sending me an email asking me about this. Finally, we need to ask ourselves if this is not about politics, why is Tim's next court date June 21st, the day before primary day? Now that's quite the coincidence. Now, when you figure out those answers to those questions, come find me because I'll be working. Now, just to note, the lawyer for Warren's husband, the defense, did say today they asked for a 30-day adjournment in the case. That's why the new date is on June 21st.